Hello there. If you're a fan like me, you'll agree that Mama's Family 1983 stands among the greatest TV series ever. So, how about joining me today? Grab a chair, settle by the campfire, and let's relive this fantastic show together. We'll journey through the entire cast, past and present, reminiscing about those who've left us and celebrating those who still shine. Ready? Let's dive in and rekindle some incredible memories. Ken Berry played the character Vinton Harper. He was 50 years old when the TV series ran in 1983. December 1st, 2018 was a tough one. He left us due to heart complications at 85 years old in Burbank, California. It's a sad loss for all of us. Swept by lottery fever. Mm, boy, I'm glad today's payday. I want to get me some tickets before they sell out. They don't sell out. They keep printing those. Do something. So they kept him on. Roger. They kept him on and um, hired Harper. Karen Argood played the character Sonia Harper. She was 23 years old when the TV series ran in 1983. Check it out, at 64 years old, she's rocking a fulfilling life jam-packed with passions right here in USA. What's your favorite subject? Uh, I know you do too. They're opening up restaurants. Dorothy Lyman played the character Naomi Oates Harper in the TV series when she was 36 years old in 1983. Check it out. At 77 years old, she's rocking a fulfilling life jam packed with passions right here in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Wow. $20,000. That would certainly buy a lot of baby food for our new addition. <laughs> What makes you think you could catch a crook? Well, Go that, ahead. Uh, it's on every night, and I mean for hours. I know and it's hours shocking. And hours. I mean, it, it, yesterday I think. Uh, Rue McClanahan played the character Aunt Fran Crowley in the TV series when she was 49 years old in 1983. Sadly, on June 3rd, 2010. She left us due to brain hemorrhage at the age of 76 in Manhattan, New York City, New York. Her passing deeply saddens us. That I am gonna sing it. Well, who is going to accompany you? Because I can promise you it will not be me. Oh, well, who needs you? An organ grinder makes better music than you do. As Willie Loman, I was much too young to be doing Linda Loman, but it was. It was a good experience. Alan Kayser played the character Bubba Higgins in the TV series when he was 20 years old in 1983. Fast forward to today, he's a lively 61-year-old soaking up the best of life right here in Littleton, Colorado. USA pageant. Congratulations once again and good luck. What the hell are they talking about? Well, I saw this ad in the newspaper. I went out of my mind, you know, during and after Mama's family. So, you know, I know what that's like. You know, you're trying to break a mold. You're trying to break a... a... Vicki Lawrence played the character Thelma Mama Crowley Harper. She was 34 years old when the TV series ran in 1983. Here she is at a cool 75, chilling in Inglewood, California, enjoying a happy life with family and friends by her side. It's out the window. <laughs> Let's face it, not every woman gets her figure back like I did. Oh. <laughs> Mrs. Harper, it's time for you to leave. He is such a geek. Even now, the suits did come back down oh, way really? back then. Yes, oh, I yeah. didn't even know this till I heard Carol telling the story one day. Mm -hmm. They. Carol Burnett played the character Eunice Higgins in the TV series when she was 50 years old in 1983. Check it out. At 91 years old, she's rocking a fulfilling life jam-packed with passions right here in San Antonio, Texas. Oh. <laughs> Hang on there! This doesn't concern you! <laughs> we are in the big... Whoa. Yeah. It's a really quick trip from yeah. best sandwich to what do you think happens when yeah. we die, isn't it? 
I think there's something. Beverly Archer played the character Eola Lucille Boylan. She was 35 years old when the TV series ran in 1983. Check it out, at 76 years old, she's rocking a fulfilling life jam-packed with passions right here in Oak Park, Illinois. Well, it's hardly noticeable. She's right, it's nothing compared to this fork. Have you ever seen anything that filthy? Well, for heaven's sakes, it's just a water spot. Oh my. So, that's when I started to uh, kind of try to look into it, and Pavan was the only one who actually answered me when I wrote to him and said, uh, I'm still here. Eric Brown played the character Vinton Buzz Harper Jr. in the TV series when he was 19 years old in 1983. Here he is, at a cool 60, chilling in New York City, New York, enjoying a happy life with family and friends by his side. Goodbye, everybody. Where are you going? I'm going over to Eddie's. We were going to rehearse this project for school, but we can't do anything here with Ed Friend, the drill sergeant. <laughs> what are you rehearsing, Buzz? Oh, I've always been proud of the things you've done, Dad. Well, I know that, son. I just don't tell too many of my friends about them. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, get your grandma now. So we Betty White played the character Ellen Harper Jackson in the TV series when she was 61 years old in 1983. Sadly, on December 31st, 2021, she left us due to cerebrovascular accident at the age of 99 in Los Angeles, California. Her passing deeply saddens us. All of a sudden, there she is up there, and it, it was murder. She's there forever. All of them. Harvey Corman played the character Alastair Quince in the TV series when he was 56 years old in 1983. It's with a heavy heart that I've got to tell you that on May 29, 2008, he left us after complications from a rupture of an abdominal aortic aneurysm at 81 in UCLA Medical Center, Los Angeles, California. We're really feeling the loss. Two, two pink ladies, please. Thank you. And I'd like a beer, please, unless there are any objections. Or will the drinks go with the dinner on the free ticket, don't it? Oh, yes. And Dom DeLuise is going that, thrown into the that tub. Was, that, was, that was Mel's. Mel says, I don't care how bad it is, no matter how anybody's chasing you.